second Sunday after the Epiphany, year A. From the book of the prophet Isaiah, I said I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward with my God. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week pick up where our readings from last week left off. We know ourselves to be called as witnesses, but we are not really sure that we have what it takes to answer that call and fulfill that promise. Consider Andrew following John the Baptist as a disciple. And suddenly, John, his teacher, his rabbi, starts talking about being outranked by some new guy. And then John says he didn't know him before, but came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel in the descent of the Holy Spirit like a dove. So wait, goes Andrew, all this time we've just been waiting on a bird? And I don't know about you, but sometimes I lay awake at night wondering whether I've just been deceiving myself, seeing things because I want so badly to see them and not because they're real. If we look honestly at such feelings, if we refuse to hide God's righteousness in our hearts, but instead speak of God's faithfulness and deliverance, then we also have to speak of the situations in which we find ourselves in need of deliverance. Only when we acknowledge with Andrew the insufficiency of the here in which we find ourselves, only then can we follow Jesus to a new place. Only then can we answer honestly the question Jesus is always asking us. What are you looking for? Both Isaiah and Paul speak of waiting for what is hidden to be revealed. That waiting provides the occasion for faith. That waiting is the darkness in which God has given us as a light to the nations. That waiting is the stretch of reaching both to the ends of the earth and into the depths of our own hearts. In the midst of that waiting, our God gives us not certainty, but enrichment in him. Enrichment in speech and knowledge of every kind, strengthening us to the end so that we might be blameless, having called upon the name of our Lord, whose love and faithfulness keep us not stable, but safe forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.